next year we're planning on going off in the camper van for a couple of years around Europe. Because of this, I've downsized my camera from a Sony a7 II with all of the full frame lenses down to an a6000. I went for the a6000 as I don't video with the camera. So the 6500 with its IBES and its 4K wouldn't have really been a lot different to me. And the a6000 is an absolute bargain at the moment. I paid about 500 quid for it. Now I'm really happy with the camera in general, apart from one annoying gripe. Listen to this. You hear that? The lens mount is loose. Now, I've done a little bit of research online about this, and it seems like it's because on the original A6000s, the little bit at the back is plastic, the lens mount is plastic, and a few people have had this problems. Apparently on the A6500 that's been changed, maybe on the 6300, I'm not sure. So what I've done is ordered this. This is a metal mount, replacement mount by Photo DA. And from what I've read online, it seems to do the job pretty well. So I thought I'd give it a go. So to do this, it should be as simple as undoing the screws on the front of the mount, which I'm going to do with the camera this way around so they can't fall into the sensor. Okay, there's a little notch, so that's fairly obvious. And I assume this just sits over that notch as well. Little thing I did read online that the screws that come with the Photo DA aren't the same thread as the original Sony ones. So I'm using the original Sony ones. I don't know if there's any truth in that, but obviously the original Sony ones do work, so. Okay, let's try the new lens, see if it actually works. <clears throat> That's much better. The 
Looks like that was a success then. Brilliant. That'll do. Thanks very much. I'll put a link to this um, little adapter thing in the um, comments below. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.